As soon as you log in, Voodoo has four panels out of the box. Buff watch, main tanks, private tanks, and the main panel. Um, out of those, I only use two. The main tank frame shows the tanks set in the raid roster or through Aura 2 or CTRA, and the private tanks allows you to by default middle click and set people as your private tank. Also, for fights like an ICC now, you can focus and that becomes a private tank as well, allowing all the spells you have bound to be used on that. Assuming you're going to be tank healing as a Holy Paladin, you can go ahead and open Voodoo Options, go to the Move tab, and you can drag the private tanks over into the first panel. Then you can get rid of main assist and get rid of main tanks. Then you can go through the list and set everyone you need to heal as your private tank. The pet panel is the last panel and depending on how many rows and columns you're going to have, you can either put it in here or delete it. It's still not amazing looking yet, so what you can do is hit 25, test, and go to panels. What I like to do is set the bar text to be class colored. And then I like to make the headers even looking. I would also go ahead and get rid of the background and the border. Then what you can do is add another column so it's all in one line. The last thing I'd change is showing the missing health instead of the percent health. And the rest of the aesthetic options in Voodoo are available to change here. If you plan on using Voodoo as raid frames, there are some click features you might want to be familiar with. You can set any combination of Control and Shift to Focus, Target, Drop Down, or Menu. And what that looks like is Focus, Target, Menu, which lets you set all this, change roles, and your buff you put on them. And then this, which is right clicking your frame if you choose to hide that in the options. If you have click through panel disabled, you can right click on the actual panel to see their class and role. Um, if you're in the random dungeon finder, the role will show up according to that. If you're not, it'll show up according to either what you've assigned it in the menu or what it automatically detects when it role checks. You may have noticed it also changes the tooltip, which shows their role. You can go to General Misc and turn it back to the standard tooltip if you want. Once you get the basic stuff set up, it's time to move on to some more advanced stuff. The HOT icons, first off. You can have them showed as squares, like Grid does, anywhere around it, or you can show the actual icon of it anywhere on this. Um, for things like Life Bloom, there's different ways of showing how many stacks it has. And uh, by default, it shows the last 10 seconds of the countdown. So you go to Colors and HOTs and show Full Duration if you want to see the entire countdown for your HOTs. Another nice feature is the raid target icon and the overhealing. For example, it shows me that'll do 10.7k overhealing. Um, panels Miscellaneous lets you set how big the overhealing text is for the spell you're going to cast. Um, it scales to how much overhealing it is. So if it's a minute amount, it won't be as big as if it was something massive like 10,000. Voodoo can also show the overhealing from other healers or the healing from other healers using libhealcom4, which Grid, Xpearl, Pitbull, Healbot use as well. 
key binding is very straightforward and you have plenty of options even for a two button mouse. But if you run out of buttons on your mouse, you can bind things through internal mouse over macros. And what this looks like is, as I've showed in a previous video, if you have a mouse with special buttons on it, like the Magic Mouse or one of Logitech's multi-button mouses, you can go into their software and change the buttons to do things like number pad keys. And what you would do is put the spell in here like Sacred Shield, then you open up the key bindings editor for World of Warcraft and go all the way down till you get to Voodoo. And then you can see right here all the spells that you add there you can bind in here. So if I have one of the special buttons on my mouse do Z, I bind it that way in here. The cluster scanner in Voodoo is one of the most intuitive features in any healing add-on yet. And for a resto druid, what it would allow you to do is see how many people your wild growth is going to hit based on who you mouse over. So given the settings right now, it's going to draw a box over how many people it's going to hit based on who I'm mousing over. So as I get closer to Aperstein, it draws it over both of us, so it will hit both of us. You can also set a counter to show how many people that wild growth or circle of healing would hit if you cast it on the target that you're mousing over. It works the same way for Resto Shamans and Holy Priest if you use the chain option. And based on who you mouse over at that given time, it'll show you who something like Chain Heal or Prayer Mending would jump to. Also, if you change the spell source to Player, Prayer of Healing, it'll show you, and mouse over yourself, it'll show you how many people in your party it's going to hit. combine macros through Voodoo to go off through click commands as well. You type in the name of a macro, however you don't want the macro to be the same name as a spell. So my macro is oh my god goes to this, which is Nature Swiftness Healing Touch. Um, I know shit button in essence. So now that I'm in a group you can see that it shows based on who I mouse over I'm going to get the most out of my wild growth off of. Uh, I think the highlighting is going to get annoying, but you'll be able to change that so it just uses the HOT slot to show it.